what I have here are my skewers. These are just little bamboo skewers. And I have my wire cutters here. And what I'm going to do, you can use one or two. I brought two of them because I wasn't sure. Okay. So that's it down all the way. You can let it stick up. We, again, we're going to have foam on this cake. So I am actually going to let it stick up a little bit. Make sure you hold on to the top when you cut it. And that's nice so that the uh, hostess can find it. Tell her there's a skewer in there and she should be able to find it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and leave this, let it crust just for a second. And while it's crusting, we're going to make the outside. This is a, I mean, it's a beer mug, so we want it to look like a glass outside. So what I've done is I've taken one of my mats. Let me get all these crumbs out of here. I've got my gelatin and my glass bowl and this is just a this is just a page protector what it is is just is plastic so the gelatin doesn't stick to this if you, you know, pour gelatin on this it just peels right off once it dries um, and I have something called an impression mat and this is and it, look this just fall I wanted to show it to you because it just falls off when it dries this is what it does and this is, as you can see, it is a ribbed mat. See the ribbing on it? And the cool thing about this is, is you put gelatin on this or any mat with that has, an, that has a, a texture to it, it's going to dry to that texture. Look, see it's dry and ribbed. Okay, that's why I wanted to show it, show it to you. And it just, it literally just falls off. I poured this last night and it takes about a day and it'll just peel, it just falls off the next day. Now you do have to be careful if, if a part is, is kind of stuck because it, you can rip it. So be careful. It just is, it's just a little, there we go. A little a part that's just not quite, it was just stuck a little bit. Okay, isn't that cool? So it just comes out and it's kind of flexible. Let me show you how I made it. That was just, I wanted to show you how it comes off. So let's show you how I made it. Okay, so here's the mat. And I just put this down. Where did I get this mat? I don't even remember. I got it at Isis. You can get it, probably anyone who sells impression mats, I think they all carry it. It wasn't anything special. I need, I normally do two to one when I do my gelatin, when I do the bubbles. But I wanted this not so stiff. So I did a three to one on this. So it's basically three tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of the gelatin. So three tablespoons of cold water. And then one tablespoon or one envelope, which is like not quite a tablespoon, but it's close enough. Again, it, this doesn't have to be an exact, we're not making candy, it doesn't have to be an exact science. But about one tablespoon of gelatin. And you just sprinkle it on and let it absorb. Woohoo! Shake it around, get in there, get in there. Absorb. She got no problem absorbing that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to microwave it for about 10 seconds. Give it a little tiny stir, and then another couple seconds, like five, five or ten more seconds. You don't want it to boil, so do a short burst. Let's see if we can get this microwave to work. <laughs> I got to let this sponge though for a couple seconds. Let me sponge. Um, it takes about five minutes to sponge. Right now it's still pretty wobbly. You got to wait until it's actually spongy. So let me give it a few minutes. Let it sponge. <laughs> 